the beauty of family medicine is that you could be in a room with a newborn and then walk into the next room and it was the grandfather for the family. Our program has a lot of interesting opportunities uh, available to, to residents if they choose. I think that um, being in the Albany area affords them a community hospital of St. Peter's uh, as well as a university uh, hospital and children's hospital at Albany Med. So our residents rotate at both. It's a best of both worlds opportunity that very few programs in the United States can, can offer. In addition to that, our office, which is privately run by community care physicians, um, allows our residents and, and faculty a, a lot of autonomy in running their practice in the day-to-day -day operation. So it really has um, allowed us to grow, build a new health center, and really be practicing cutting-edge medicine so that when our residents go out for their first job, they're experienced in, uh, in, in all of these uh, aspects. When our residents and faculty travel to Uganda, they're really there to provide training and teaching so that the Ugandan staff can take care of their own community. My name is Teresa Weinman. I am an academic coordinator here at Albany Medical College um, for the Department of Family and Community Medicine. I have worked for this Department of Family Medicine for 30 years this past June, um, and I've been involved with Engay Health Clinic for 13 years since its inception. Part of my role with Engay, um, I am on the Engay Board of Directors. I'm also co-director of the Engay Scholars Program. I also serve on the um, fundraising and uh, communication committee, but my favorite role is coordinating medical mission trips. So if you were a resident in our program and you um, applied to be part of a medical mission trip, um, you would participate in a lot of preparation to learn about the community and the needs that they have. And Gay um, focuses on health, but they also have an education program, they have public health, they also do, uh, we have a women's entrepreneur program and a lot of community outreach. We've brought some residents over who have provided the also um, course through the American Academy of Family Physicians. It was the first time that that course was ever taught in Uganda. We've brought over um, other programs such as helping babies breathe and helping mothers survive. And our residents participate in teaching the Ugandan staff, certifying them in these courses so that then they can take care of their own community. Another part that a lot of our residents say is their favorite part is um, doing training for village health teams. And so we have village health workers that are volunteers that live in very rural areas that come to the health center when we have teams there and our residents will participate in training and teaching these village health workers who can go back home to their own community and share that information and that health information. If I were a medical student and I were looking to relocate or um, to remain in the Albany area for residency, I think it offers incredible support. Albany is a great city um, because it's manageable and it's um, really, you don't have to drive far and you realize that you have a ton of other wonderful things about being in upstate New York. So whether that's, you know, hiking or camping or, you know, just being able to get outdoors and take a walk and it's fresh air and it's affordable. I mean, I think that's huge being able to say that you can live live in a really comfortable home or a comfortable apartment with ease of travel and not a ton of traffic and um, feel comfortable there is, is really great without you know, breaking the bank. Our graduates can go forward and do anything anywhere. I don't think you need to be in a rural program to be a rural family doc. You just need to be well trained. Albany Family Medicine to me, um, personally having experienced it and now being as faculty is a family first and foremost always. The level of support that you get from the people that truly care about both you and your education is extraordinary and I think quite rare and I feel great for it every day. I, I say thanks for it all the time because I know I come to work and I'm happy to see the people that are here and I feel proud of our residents and I feel proud of our faculty and that's a really wonderful thing to be able to say.